Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I'm praying all is well with you today on this uh, beautiful, sunny uh, Friday. It is now, um, time is 4.41 p.m. at September 30th, 2022. This is the last day of September. Uh, we'll be in a new month in October. Started tomorrow on the 1st. And I pray that you guys are seeking Jesus Christ and seeking Him with all your heart, mind, and strength. Living the example of Christ's left for us. Glorifying Him and giving Him glory by honoring our lives as a living sacrifice. So, I want to go over scripture here. Uh, this is in representation of love. Uh, perfect love through Jesus Christ. And there is no fear in love. Alright, so this is 1 John 4.18. Verse 18, this is what Jesus is talking about here, and it says, There is no fear in love. Dread does not exist, but full-grown, complete, perfect love turns fear out of the doors and expels every trace of terror. For fear brings with the thought of uh, punishment. And so he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love. It is not yet grown in love's complete perfection. So when I read this, what the Holy Spirit is telling me from reading this scripture and breaking it down is that when we are in Jesus Christ, when we have the love of the Father that's in us from heaven, there is nothing on earth that can condemn us or keep us in fear or in bondage. Uh, when you have condemnation, when you have um, a doubt, when you are living in a world where you're not led by the Spirit of God, you will have fear constantly in your life. You will not have the confidence to live out the purpose of your life that our Lord Jesus Christ has established for us by his overcoming of death. Um, everything is reconciled through him. So when Jesus Christ came to this earth, through this you know as a through the flesh but he was always here through god through the spirit um he overcame death he overcame fear he overcame everything because there is no fear in love god is perfect love you know god is the spirit the holy spirit has no fear in it at all so when god was 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 manifest made known through the flesh there was nothing of fear. There was no evil. There was no wickedness. There was no uh, sin. There was nothing in him. Everything was made complete uh, through Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the complete Godhead of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost through him. He's made manifest. He's made known. He's made been shown through all of us. That's why there's only one name that you will be saved under. And that's Jesus Christ, Yahusha Hamashiach. Uh, that is in Hebrew for Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Messiah. Uh, everything else is obsolete when it comes to that. So if you have accepted Jesus Christ in your heart, if you received his baptism, uh, baptized in his spirit, being born again, you should not have to have fear in your heart. Now, you may have some worry. Sometimes you may you may go through some things where you have issues because of your flesh. You know, your flesh, we're always going to have some type of issues um, going on as far as the flesh attacking our minds and our hearts, um, you know, causing some type of discomfort. And, you know, you'll have some ups and downs as far as, you know, being sad, being hurt, your emotions and things like that. But living in fear is another thing. When you live in fear, that means that your whole life is consumed, dominated by whatever's the ways of the world are, whatever the world feels or or how you're perceived through the world, which is false because the world doesn't determine who you are, should not. If you have love in the world, if you if you have your cares in your heart grafted into the world, then that's the same thing that you will receive from the world because that's what you're looking for. You're seeking for approval for the world. That's why 
when people preach the gospel, they're rejected or people living a life suitable for God or trying to make themselves uh, dedicate themselves to God. You can see the world distances themselves away from them. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear the word of God. They don't want to hear about Jesus because it's not of the world. It's not the same spirit in the spirit of the world. It's the spirit of the Antichrist. So that's why it's important to be grafted into the word of God. Be grafted into Jesus Christ being made new from above, from the Father. That's the only true way you're going to be uh, experience the fullness of God, the complete love of God, the complete uh, power of the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, working out your salvation daily to be able to carry you through and endure you through tough times, hard situations, even up until death. So just remember that, guys. Stay grafted into the Holy Spirit. Make sure the Holy Spirit, make sure you're praying daily, staying connected to God, making sure you keep constant communication, evaluating your heart, making sure that you're not being judgmental, make sure that you're you're keeping yourself balanced and humble. And no matter what circumstances, don't let circumstances around you determine how you are feeling inside. Always listen to the voice of God. Don't listen to your thoughts mostly because mostly your own thoughts are lies. Most of them are. But listen to the word of God. Consume yourself with the word of God. Let his words and be imprinted into your heart. Focus on the pureness, the righteousness, the goodness, the comfort, everything through the word of God, the Bible. So study in that. Stay grafted into that. Pray often. Stay strong. Uh, with your faith, don't let because of things that are happening in the world, different circumstances, your financial situations, your health situations, or anything else at that matter, uh, deter, deter deter you away from pursuing God with all your heart. Because those are the things that Satan does. You remember Satan tried to tempt Jesus, you know, uh, on a, on the mountain and and get, offered him all the the riches and luxuries of the world and jesus did not accept that he did not accept it because he was god and he knew down inside that the, that his you know satan knew that he was he wanted to test him because he had flesh but he didn't know that the spirit of god which he did know would override the flesh no matter how weak he was because the spirit of god was in him god was in jesus christ's flesh so he couldn't tempt God. That's why he said you cannot tempt the, the Lord thy God. Serve the God, the Lord thy God only. Um, and he, he, he rebuked Satan there. So, you know, if Satan is, is to use, just to use that as an example, if he's going to tempt Jesus, what do you think he's going to do to us in our walk? Will we accept Jesus Christ? Well, we're not walking with Jesus Christ. He doesn't bother us. Because we're a part of the world, we're accepted with the world, you know, we're doing what the world wants. And even then, there's no true love in the world. The only true love is the love of God, because regardless if you like it or not, God is going to make sure you do the right thing for your own, for your, for his, you know, by his will. But it's only for your good. It's not for you to be. Uh, it's not to hurt you or, or to trick you or to give you instant gratification, but it's for your eternal soul is why he sets the ordinance in place, the laws, the commands, the uh, being obedient, following these certain principles in the word of God, because it's going to guide you in a path of righteousness. And also you're going to have freedom and you will not be in bondage as you would be if you were consumed with the worldly things and the, the and sin and all that stuff like that. So just focus on that. Think about that. Let that marinate to your mind. Pray on it. Um, understand the Bible is here for our life guidance to protect us. And it's alive because everything in the word of God, when you speak it out, it becomes alive in your life. When you live it out, it becomes alive in your life. So stay focused on that. Do not let the worldly things in the world, the things that are not of God, consume you and take you away from the truth in the gospel of the word of God. So this is Brother Ray here. Um, I will be posting more videos later on.
But in the meanwhile, I hope this blesses someone. I hope this encourages someone. And you drive out fear with perfect love through the Most High, Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach, our Lord and our God. And let that be your, 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 your thoughts. Let that be on your minds. Let it constantly be meditating on his word and let his word be imprinted into your hearts again. I love you. You guys have a blessed day. Have a blessed weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your family. Be with love. Keep love at the forefront in your minds, in your hearts. Love you all. In Jesus' name, amen.